what's going on guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be working on my car again uh, i got my control arms made probably like a month ago i got them extended two inches and the ones on my car extended one uh, and they're also molded and reinforced uh, shout out to a a customs augie hooked it up again so i can't wait to install those and i got new springs for the front also they're three and three quarters now i got three tons on it right now so uh let's get started i also need to wash my car this thing is filthy I know as soon as I wash it, it's going to get right back dirty pulling out onto the main street right here. But uh, these are my original control arms. I don't know if y'all can see them or not. But this is locked all the way up. And you can see it's kind of cambered in a little bit. But the main reason I wanted a lowrider is because I just love the tucking look. The little bulldog look. So I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm kind of scared when it's laid all the way out. It's kind of close to the fender. Let me, let me lay it out in the front. Here it is all the way down on the front. And you can see it's tucking a little bit, but not that much, but it's pretty close to the fender. So, We'll see how that works whenever I put these new arms on. This tire is jacked up from, this is where I three wheel on the most. Here's one side. Shout out to Augie. It's all molded, reinforced on the inside and extended two inches. So hopefully two inches isn't too much. So uh, let's get started. Alright guys, we're all finished installing the new control arms and the springs. I still need to wash it. But you can see now, this is locked all the way up. And it's tucking just a little bit now. But that's locked all the way up. It looks like it, it locks up higher now. Let's see if you can see the control arms. And now the springs are black and the control arms are all cleaned up. Looks good now. I don't know if you can tell. It looks, it does look higher. Let me let it down so y'all can see the actual tuck on it. All right, that's all the way down. Now you'll be able to see the two inch tuck on it. You can see the top of the tire poking out now. My tires are extra ashy. But this is the main reason I wanted a low rider for the tuck. I'm happy with it now. Shout out to Augie again. If I need any work in the DFW area, hit them up. I'll put a little screenshot right here. And the springs now are three and three and three quarters. Here's the old springs we took off. You can tell they were just cut with a with a torch. These are three tons. Now I could drive it all the way down. Before it was pretty close to the the fender. I'm sure it still needs to settle a little bit, but I love it. That's just one hit right there. It's probably like drive height. 
I know I'm gonna be going through tires like crazy, but I just love the look. Look at that tuck. But uh, yeah, let me let me wash it all up, and then I'm gonna take it for a drive. Hopefully, get y'all some driving shots of it. All right guys, I just made it home after installing the new springs and control arms. And uh, I f drove it on the freeway and it wasn't too bad. It bounced a little bit more than usual, but not nothing too crazy. Finally washed it all up. Let's see if y'all can see the control arms a little bit better now. You can see the new springs and control arms. I love how they look all molded better than what I had on here. But uh, that's it for this video. I'm looking at some new wheels for it, so maybe in the next video I'll be putting some new wheels on it or something like that. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.